we're just about to meet some really good tenants. The problem here is that the landlord is very bad and the landlord's Cardiff Council. Put my baby to bed, knowing that there's going to be bugs crawling on her, and after that I can cope with her. Dropping, but this is yeah, falling down. Yeah, it's and they've just come out and put it back. The Welsh yeah. National Party Assembly member, I'm with residents in Clanrymny and with Jean and, and Chloe to talk about damp really and the, the state of the flats and lack of repair really, yeah. Chloe. Yeah. yeah. So, what, what, what's your what is your experience of of living here then? Well, I've been complaining for over a year. They just constantly come out, make excuses, or they'll just cover it up or paint over it, as they've done about six times since I lived here. They've come out and just painted it. Yeah. Um, they just do quick fixes every time, or they all deny that there's mould or damp, or they I find it all under my carpet or mould. I was just told to wipe it with a dry cloth. Yeah. There's a lot of water congregated outside yeah. the building though, isn't there? It always pours down, the yeah. gutter in is absolutely buggered, so yeah. it all just pours down and I reported this I think about three times, they've come out and apparently fixed it. Yeah. But you've also been ill since living here? Yeah, I've uh, never suffered with bad chest or coughs or nothing uh -huh. or asthma. Since I've lived here I've got asthma, I'm on an asthma pump, I have a tight chest, I've had chest x-rays, yeah. two um, spit speedums because yeah. of my chest. Oh, so the baby's had a bad cough constant since mm -hmm. she's been born. You say now you're bringing up black material yeah, in the morning? Yeah, bringing up black stuff off my chest and we think it's more so I've you gone don't, down. You don't smoke, do you? No, don't smoke. Okay. Jean, what, what, what do you make of this here then? I've lived You've been next door, 11 you? years, yeah. April, I've lived here. Yeah. I've had non-stop um, damp mould, lost three beds, lost flooring, lost um, sofas, table and chairs, wardrobes, chest of drawers, um, TV stands, everything that was porous, that mm. the council said was porous, it's because it's porous furniture, you're going to get mould on it. I went, because yeah. it's porous, I shouldn't have to have mould yeah. on my furniture. I didn't yeah. have it in my home yeah. when I had a three bedroom house and my children live in the home. Yeah. Why should I have to have yeah. it because I'm living in a flat? I just want to say for viewers as well that the two flats we've been in are immaculate. I mean, it's really clear that the tenants here take excellent care of their property, They're spick and span, but there's clearly an issue with, with damp coming in. And, and the mould might be yeah. one of the biggest issues yeah. for me. Yeah. I literally put my, bed, put my baby to bed knowing that there's going to be bugs crawling on her, and that's the bit I can cope with. Like I lay in bed, I scratch so hard sometimes that I make myself bleed. I think there's bugs crawling in my hair, and it's constant. Like before I put the baby to bed, or before I get into bed, I've got to kill little bugs first. So they, they said they said. They're definitely mould associates. Moulds. Mould associates. Mould mites. Yeah, mould mites. Mould mites. Mold mites. So, so this is dropping, but this is yeah, falling down. Yeah, it's fell twice, and they've just come out twice. and put it back. The melt has to state that this has come down twice. Yeah. That's, that's, it doesn't seem to be a very good piece of work, right? And it looks, it's quite worrying for me to go yeah. underneath it. Like, I'm literally shaking to the gym now, because I don't know, I'm just scared. But it's just neglect, really. Like, yeah. I wouldn't imagine... And do you know when I first rang her, she said it's absolutely safe when uh, first fell and it fell on my son. It was all by here. Well, you know, if, if, they, if they're doing it, well, see what annoys me with the council. Uh, they treat council tenants nowhere near as well as they should. They come out, they've done a job there, they just put a bit of concrete on it. Why haven't they painted the rest of it? They don't care. Yeah, you, know, you, would, you wouldn't want it. Yeah, say the, the, the leader. Well, we're looking at them. <laughs> say the leader of the council, Hugh Thomas. Would you, would you accept this, this level of work in your property, your private house? I bet you wouldn't. It's the same over there. Look at that over there. Bloody state of that. Bit of paint. The verandas are horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. All the veranda flakes come down. Right. They come down. One over there. How much rent is it? It's broken. It's £300 a week. And, and you can actually feel the drought. £300 a week. £300 a week. Yes. And it's one, just gone out. How many beds? One bedroom flat? One bedroom. One bedroom £100 a week. Two bedrooms upstairs, so they pay more. Right. But they haven't got the same problems that's you've four, got. £400 a month. That's, what, that's a mortgage. Yeah. Because yeah. what, what, what I mean, what, what the Welsh National Party is in favour of is enabling people to buy their own properties because mm. you're paying more rent than you would pay for a mortgage. Yeah. On a one-bed flat. On a one-bed yeah. flat, yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So you, you pay for God knows how many years and what have you got out of it? And if they, if they looked after you properly and did the repairs as they should and they were really good repairs, yeah, it's just then like you, fixes you wouldn't constant. mind. But yeah. you're, you're paying premium. You know, 
the people of Cardiff in rented accommodation, council accommodation, housing association especially, which are more expensive in some yeah. some cases, it, it's premium rents. You know, it's not cheap, and the, the, the service they're getting back is poor, and that's why the Welsh National Party wants to enable people to buy their own properties.